always at Highland Park, all the way through, there was this emphasis on not only education, yes, but excellence at, at what you did. Excellence at what you did, no matter what you did, whether it was playing the horn or, or a football field or tennis or academics or on the stage or whatever you did. There was this emphasis on excellence that the teachers and coaches imparted to the kids all the way through school. We get kids every year who are, you know, if they're playing a sport or in an extracurricular, they're always willing to work hard and totally devote themselves to whatever they're doing. If they're in the classroom, they're usually willing and uh, ready to work as hard as the teachers need them to. So to me, that's one of the common threads. I mean, the quality of the education at the high school is great. That's, that's essentially why anybody lives here, right? Mm -hmm. That's why, that is why people live in the Highland Park in University Park is because of the school system, is because of the education that's offered there. We have such high expectations like, like as a school of just doing well in everything. And I think, you know, since we're setting the bar so high, people are like continually reaching higher and like pushing the bar higher with it. I graduated in 2009 and um, honestly I didn't realize how well prepared I'd be for college with how hard they push us. We take it for granted the level of excellence that we have until we step away and we'll go, oh my gosh, we're really good at that. It's heartwarming, it's just, it's humbled to be able to say that you went to Highland Park High School and when people say where are you from, you sound from Highland Park, they know exactly what you're talking about. Enter to learn, go forth to serve is a tremendous backbone for everybody that comes out of school there. I think Highland Park has done a great job of, of uh, graduating people with servants' hearts and volunteers. And I think the program they have now where the kids have to get volunteer hours, it's a very learning experience for them. Although I had performed my hours, I needed one more. But then I sat there and I thought, I don't just want one more because what I was doing, going to read to the kids at an elementary school, was so enjoyable and I did it for a whole week during my lunch and off period. I went and read to the kids at Bradfield of kindergartners to fourth graders. A lot of people that grow up here know how lucky they are to be here and, and uh, you know have the opportunities that they have and understand that you know what even the smallest opportunity or the smallest helping hand can do for somebody. And I really feel like that that has been a reflection of so many of our lives but it wasn't beat into us. You just saw other people doing things and helping. And I, I feel like that that had a lot to do with the things that were important to me. Parental involvement is what I think makes Highland Park High School and the grade school so great. We've just got parents that uh, they watch other parents get involved and they get involved and and we and and that's the key to a successful school system. We wouldn't have missed an open house or a grandparents' day or anything because we wanted to be there and see what was going on. Yeah. And I think most of the people that live in this area, they are really involved in the school system. And in the park cities, I mean, the parents are there in spades. They're manning the cafeteria situation. They're in the PTA, the dad's club. They're going to the games. Mm -hmm. They're supporting the kids. And they're insisting, to the extent they can, that the kids do well and do what they should do and be on time and this kind of thing. And without that sort of parental support, this school system would not be what it is. We get ready for the future at Holland Park, mm -hmm. and everyone does. Whether, whether you're going to college or not, you're always ready to, for the future to hold a family. And at Holland Park, they uphold that um, through everything they do. What I love most about Highland Park is just the traditions that go on. So we can talk about homecoming, uh -huh. we can talk about the football team, and heads nod generation after generation because the they remember the Highlands yeah. dance, the yeah. homecoming dance. We've all experienced it for three generations. And those, the baccalaureate celebration and ceremony and commencement are so wonderful and moving, and we've all experienced it. 
traditions are just as vital in Highland Park as overall. I mean, just everything, academics, sports, everything. It's all tradition, and we've all gone through it, and it's probably one of those vital functions of Highland Park. It's how we all, you know, come together in, uh, as a group. It's a hundred years of people being interested in education and the, and the quality of where they're raising their family and kids. And that took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, so to speak. As dynamite people move out, other dynamite people seem to move in. So I, I hope it'll just keep on going like like it is. I think just keep doing what they're doing. You know, don't don't cut any corners um, when it comes to kids' education and, and sports and opportunities because they didn't do it when I was there. I don't imagine they do it now. I don't imagine them doing it in the future. But uh, just keep doing what they're doing, man, because they're doing a, a heck of a job putting out great kids. As we celebrate a century of the Highland Park school system coming up, I would regard that as merely the end of the beginning.